the last clause of this standard, ISO 9001-2015, that is improvement. This clause 10 of the standard has three sub-clauses. Sub-clause 10.1, general. Sub-clause 10.2, non-conformity and corrective action. Sub-clause 10.3, continual improvement. Let's start with sub-clause 10.1, general. The sub-clause 10.1 of the standard states that the organization is required to determine and select opportunities for improvement and implement any necessary actions to meet customer requirements and enhance customer satisfaction. These must include improving products and services to meet requirements as well as to address future needs and expectations. This clause says that it must contain correcting preventing or reducing undesired effects and improving the performance and effectiveness of the quality management system. As per subclause 10.1, examples of improvement can include correction, corrective action, continual improvement, breakthrough change, innovation and reorganization. Now coming to clause 10.2, non-conformity and corrective action. As per this subclause, the organization is required to evaluate the need for action to eliminate the causes of the non-conformity in order that it does not recur or occur elsewhere. By reviewing and analyzing the non-conformity, determining the causes of the non-conformity and determining if similar non-conformities exist or could potentially occur. This clause says that an organization is required to implement any action needed and review the effectiveness of any corrective action taken to meet the requirement of the standard. The standard through this subclause 10.2.1 states that the organization is required to update risks and opportunities determined during planning, if necessary. Organizations can make changes to the quality management system, if necessary. Further, the clause says that corrective actions taken by the organization must be appropriate to the effects of the non-conformities encountered. According to the subclause 10.2.2, the organization is required to retain documented information as evidence of the nature of the non-conformities and any subsequent actions taken. The organization is also required to retain documented information as evidence of the results of any corrective action. Coming to the last subclause of this standard, 9001-2015, that is subclause 10.3, continual improvement. This subclause 10.3, continual improvement states that the organization is required to continually improve the suitability, adequacy and effectiveness of the quality management system. The organization is required to consider the results of analysis and evaluation and the outputs from management review to determine if there are needs or opportunities that must be addressed as part of continual improvement. We just discussed all about Clause 10, Improvement. Now, you can see here Table A1 on screen which contains the major differences in terminology between ISO 9001-2008 and ISO 9001-2015. Now you can see here on screen table B1 containing the relationship between other international standards on quality management and quality management systems. And now we have reached the end of the session. I sincerely thank you all for your interest and attention. Thank you and best wishes.